good morning children welcome everyone to this session of unit 3 subtraction today you are going to learn some more subtopics under this lesson subtraction today you will learn checking of subtraction using addition you will learn subtracting bigger numbers you will learn how to solve word problems using bar models you will learn to identify subtraction problems with enough information and you will learn to solve word problems on subtraction checking subtraction with addition when we check subtraction with addition let us keep in mind these points first subtract then use addition to check your answer first subtract then use addition to check your answer now let us keep these two points in our mind when we do checking of subtraction when we subtract one part from the whole the difference is the other part when we add the parts we get the same whole let us do checking of subtraction with the help of an example Bob has 14 shells, 5 are blue, some are brown. How many are brown? Here the total number of Bob's shells are given as 14 and out of 14, 5 are blue shells. We have to find the number of brown colored shells. To find the number of brown colored shells, first we have to subtract 14 minus 5 gives 9. 9 is the difference which is the number of brown colored shells. To get 9 either we can count forward after 5 or backward from 14. Now the next step is we got 9 brown colored shells in Bob's collection. The next step is add to check. We have to add to check the subtraction. We have to add the number of brown colored shells that is the difference plus the number of blue colored shells which were in Bob's collection. So when we add these two parts we get the same whole. We get the total collection of Bob's shells. Now let us check subtraction with addition using three digit numbers. 724 minus 412 first we have to arrange these numbers according to the places the digits have to be arranged according to the places ones tens and hundreds first we write the first number as it is 7 2 and 4 and when we write the second number below the first number we have to always write from the ones place 2 1 and 4 after arranging the numbers we subtract now 4 minus 2 we always start from the ones place 4 minus 2 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 7 minus 4 is 3 now now we have subtracted now let's use addition to check our answer to use addition to check the answer we have to write the difference on top here Next, we write the number that is subtracted. We write 412, 412 as the second number here and add these two numbers. When we add 2 plus 2, we get 4. 1 plus 1 is 2. 3 plus 4 is 7. Children, we can see that these two star numbers are same. We get the same number after checking of subtraction using addition so when the two star numbers are same we say that our subtraction is correct now children let us do another example 804 minus 239 first we have to arrange the numbers according to the places 804 minus 239 we always start from the ones place. So 4 minus 9. Since the number which is on top is small and the number which is here 9 is big. 
we cannot subtract directly so we have to regroup or we borrow we borrow from tens but here in tens place we have a zero so we borrow from hundreds place when we borrow from hundreds place the eight hundreds become seven hundreds and we take one hundreds as ten tens and we write it in the tens place as ten but we have to subtract in the ones place so we again have to regroup from tens so ten tens becomes nine tens and we borrow one ten in the ones place so one ten and four becomes fourteen once so fourteen minus nine now it is possible to subtract now we have to do 14 minus 9 here either you can count you can count after 9 or before 14 you can count in either way to find the answer so when we count after 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we get 5 14 minus 9 is 5 now 9 minus 3 is 6 7 minus 2 is 5 we got the answer as 565 this is the difference we got after subtracting 804 and 239 now the next step is we have to check our answer to do the checking we have to write the difference here on top as the first number we use addition to check our answer 565 plus 239 so this number is the number that is subtracted so this number we write it in the second place 239 when we add 5 plus 9 gives 14 4 and 1 carried above 1 plus 6 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 0 1 carried above 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 we have got 804 now the star numbers are the same again 804 and here we got 804 so when the two star numbers are same our subtraction is correct now children based on these two examples you have some questions in page number 59 exercise 3d complete these questions in your textbook itself do the answers in the textbook itself The next subtopic of this lesson is subtracting bigger numbers. Subtracting bigger numbers is just like subtracting three digit numbers. It is very simple. You just have this year four digit numbers to subtract. You will be given four digit numbers. Now, this is an example. Example 1, 3384 minus 1243. First is the arrangement of the numbers. First, we write the places, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Then we write the first number, 3384, is written 3384. The next number, 1243, we begin from the ones place, 3, 4, 2, 1. And we subtract now. First, we start from the ones place, 4 minus 3 is 1. 8 minus 4 is 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. Example 2. 2942 minus 1021. It's the same. First we have to arrange the numbers. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. We write the places and we arrange the numbers according to the places. 2, 9, 4, 2. And below that we write the next number. When we write the next number, always we see that we write from the ones place. 1, 2, 0 and 1. Now let us subtract. We start from the ones place. 2 minus 1 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 1921. Children, based on these examples, you have few questions in page number 60, exercise 3E. Question number 1, A to H, write in the textbook itself. And question number 2, write 
A, B, C, D in notebook. Only four sums 